All right, let's go now to the next part. This one is it's our ministry. The spiritual Warfare Strategic Network. Friends, I said this here yesterday. I want to say it again. Things are not looking good out there. Things are messed up out there. People are losing homes to fire. Okay, others to flood. It's happening. Just turn on the news. Okay, people, they had their little house there in the middle of nowhere thinking they were safe until a fire broke out. Okay. Others, they had their little house over there in the country thinking they were safe. Then a flash flood came. Okay, and swept their homes, right? It happens every day. It happened today, I saw on the news. Today. How many homes are being burned to the ground in California right now? New Mexico. Friends, these are the works of evil spirits. These are the works of Satan. Okay? Satan is out there, okay, destroying everything he can. Okay, and we were warned by the word of God, warrant, warrant us. Amen. The word of God warns us about it. Revelation chapter 12. It says in verse 7. And the war broke out in heaven. Mike and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. Okay, they were kicked out of heaven. Satan and his demons, they used to be angels in heaven. They were kicked out of there. Now they lost the ability to love and to do good. All they do is evil. Okay. The ability to do good and to love, that ability was taken away from them. All that was left in them was hate. That's what they have for us. Okay, if they can find a way to destroy your house, they will do it. Okay, now, I know these things. I've been doing this for 35 years, folks. I myself have been attacked by Satan and demons many, many times. That's why I learned to do it. One thing that I learned, if I don't put demons to run, they will show up on my face. And things are not going to look good. Okay. So then my job is to make sure they are far away. That is my job. Because how many people out there are driving out demons daily? How many, you know, uh, uh, you know, parents are driving out demons from their kids daily? How many? Not too many. Maybe less than 1% of the population. Maybe. Maybe, I, I would say it's less than 1% for sure. Okay. But I think it's way less than 1%. It's almost to nothing. It's one person here, another one out there. People don't take this seriously. They don't. They think that things happen, you know, by accident. Well, you know, it was meant to happen. No. It was not meant to happen. You let the door open. You left the door open. That's why it happened. You were not paying attention. That's why it happened. Okay? Tragedies happened every day. They happen every day. Turn on the, turn on the news. Okay? That's what I'm saying. What our ministry here is about putting demons to run. We do what others are not doing. Okay? People love to make money with advertising on YouTube. So they're going to record videos that people like and videos that are not too offensive. Otherwise, they will not be making money with ads on their videos because nobody's going to be watching their videos. In my case, they don't watch my videos. It's not because of that. Because I don't make money with YouTube anyways. 
it's because my channels are restricted. And they've been restricted for over 10 years, 14 years, 12 years, actually. You know, that's why my viewership is almost nothing right now because of that. Okay. Amen. So here's, here's the thing. I'm still running a spiritual warfare strategy network because I see the needs. I see the needs for doing this. Everybody needs this. Everybody needs to have their demons put away. But how, how many people are doing it? They don't even do it for themselves, let alone others. Okay, do for them. They don't. They don't. The only way they might do something very light or maybe like a something to let a video run all day and night is to make money on YouTube. That's why they're going to do it. Okay. They don't do it in real time like I do. Several times a day in real time. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I have to talk about this because this is something serious. Pay attention, folks. Demons are knocking people dead every single day. They cause automobile accidents every single day. Okay. I lost my car in an automobile accident, but guess what? It was pretty bad, but guess what? Not even one scratch I had. Deliverance, right? Not even one scratch. It was bad. My car got totaled. Okay, just a couple of months ago, just got totaled. Okay. I did not have not even one scratch. Now you tell me that God did not spare my life. You know, eventually I will buy another car. You know, eventually I will. Because, you know, whenever God feels like it's time for me to have another car, he will find a way to give me another car. I'm not concerned about that. Amen. I have other priorities that I got to meet, you know. But I trust God. That's why we run the miracle campaign. Amen. Folks, if you, if uh, some of you already signed up, you know, many people have already signed up for this, you know. Amen. And those of you who are here who have signed up, I thank God for you. Praise the Lord that you did. More people now fighting your demons with you. Amen. More people. Amen. Praise God. Now, I tell people this. If you really care about yourself and about your family, you should join a network like this. Some people say, well, I have Jesus. I don't need that. Well, listen. Jesus told us to drive out demons. Why is that that he told us to drive out demons? It's because he, it's our job to drive out demons. Do you think that Jesus is going to come down from heaven to drive out a demon from you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's your job. Luke 10, 19. Mark 16, 17. Those who believe will drive out demons. He said those, not me. I'm not going to drive out their demons. He didn't say that. He said, those who believe will drive out demons. Now, how many are doing? How many are actually doing? Way less than 1% of the population, right? I encourage people to sign up. Why? Because here you have my word that I do this several times a day, every day. I don't take a break. You may not see me here live from time to time. But even in those days that I'm not here live, I'm doing it. Okay? Even if I get sick, I'm still doing it. I remember at the end of last year, I got a, I, I mean, I, I think it was COVID. Yeah, it was COVID. I think it was like in maybe October, November. I got COVID. That's okay. I was in bed for like a, Three days. I couldn't barely walk and go to the bathroom. Well, guess what? I was still putting demons to run. The COVID-19 demons in me, I had to put them to run. Eventually, they left me. Right? But I also, I was also doing for other people because that's my commitment. 
That's my commitment. Just because I'm sick, okay, all I have to do is open my mouth and say the words. I don't have to be running after demons, literally, no. I open my mouth and I put them to run. I do it. That's how I do it. If you are here, you're not a member. If you care about your life and if you care about your family, you should join our network. More power to you, more people casting out your demons. Because Jesus is not going to do it. You cannot find that verse in the Bible saying that he's going to come down from heaven and drive out your demons right here. It's not found in the Bible. He drove out demons from people when he was walking on this planet. Even that, <clears throat> he only drove out demons from a few people. The whole country was possessed. And he only drove out demons from few people. That tells me that that was not his priority. His priority was to save sinners. Okay, he drove out demons, that's for sure. But it was, it was not his priority, I can tell you. Okay. Otherwise, he would have gone to every house in Israel and drive out demons and, 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 you know, to, to drive out demons from every house. He, didn't, he did not do that. He did not do that. And then he goes on in, in Luke 10, 19. I have given you authority. Well, that's when he sent out his 12 disciples to drive out demons in villages and preach the gospel. They came back and said, Lord Jesus, even demons are subject to your name. Then he said, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not will harm you. So Jesus gave us authority to do that job. Right? He didn't go into the village driving out demons. He told his disciples to do it. People, some people, they got things messed up in their heads. I'm telling you, that's why they get beat up by demons left and right, right and left all the time. They get things messed up in their head. They think that Jesus is going to drive out their demons on autopilot. Show me that in the Bible. Go to the Bible. Show me that there. Now, do your family and yourself a favor in your household, in your pets a favor. Sign up here because we put demons to run. And the beauty to put demons to run in the spiritual realm, there's no distance, okay, nor space. A demon can be on the other side of the planet and I say, get out! And he hears me and he goes. That's the way it is, okay? I browse YouTube, I watch some videos from time to time, I hear some guys talking there. There are plenty of talkers on YouTube, but the doers are very, very few. Even the doers, on, even the few that are doing on YouTube are not doing daily. They are doing like maybe like once in a while, once every six months. That's the way it is, that's reality. Okay, if you don't wake up, you're going to get knocked out. Not by me. Not by Mike Tyson. Okay, you're going to get knocked out by demons. They are right there under your roof. Right there. Okay, they are already there. Okay. I don't, I, honestly, I had demons coming to my house. I've seen demons, you know, coming. I've seen demons lay, lay on top of me. I've seen it. But I'm still here. Why am I, am I here? Because they left. They had to go. Why? Because I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. They come and check on me from time to time. Well, guess what they're going to find? They're going to find a strong, okay, a spiritually strong person. Okay, that's what they're going to find. But when they go to other people's homes, what do, what do they find? Pornographers, alcoholics, drug addicts. That's what they find there. Is that going to be hard for them to knock people out and knock people dead? No, it's going to be very easy. Very easy. If you love yourself and love your family, join our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Network. Do your family a favor.
Don't be out there, okay, in the open, taking chances, okay? You can be the next one. You can be the next one to be eaten up by cancer. It's happening every single day. Every single day, people die. Killed by evil spirits. Where can you sign up? BrotherCarlos.com Wait until the broadcast is over. Go there and sign up. Or if you want to go there right now, go. Okay, it's better to sign up than to finish this broadcast. I'm telling you that right now. Okay. Okay. That's reality. All right. Let's put Demas to run. The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. Come out, demons. Come out, demons, you that are... The, you that are on the other side of the planet, can you hear me, devils? I know you can hear me, devils. Loud and clear. Huh? You're in the spiritual realm, aren't you? And I am also in the spiritual realm. That's why I put you to run, devils. Now, evil spirits, on behalf of our members, on behalf of their family members, on behalf of their entire household, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my descendants, on behalf of my family, on behalf of my entire household, on behalf of our mini my ministry partners and their family members and their entire household, come out! Come out of us! Go to the pit! Get out and go to the pit! You infirmity devil! Stinky devil! Go now to the abyss! Leave us alone! Get out! Get out! In Jesus! Mighty name. I said, get out. In Jesus. Mighty name. Go now to the pit. Get out of my members. Get out of their family members. Get out of their entire household. You know who they are, don't you, devils? Of course you do. I'm talking to you. Get out. Get out. Come out. You are not welcome to stay under their roof. You have to leave that house. You have to leave that apartment. You have to go now to the abyss. I am casting you out. Get out of me. Get out of my family members. Get out of my house as well. Go now to the pit. Go now. In Jesus' mighty name, get out. Infirmity, sickness, and disease, mental illness, schizophrenia. Fear, envy, jealousy, get out. Go now to the pit. Go now to the abyss. Go now to the abyss. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. <coughs> it's okay to cough. Demons come out that way, okay? Yawn, belching, burping, right? That's way that one way they come out that you know they come out you know that way and you know other ways too vomiting spitting amen come out devils come out now nightmares come out come out criminal devils murder spirits homicide suicide go now to the pit go now to the pit Go now. Leave us alone. Leave our family members alone. Go now to the pit. Go now to the abyss. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times right now, everybody. Come out, devils. Come out, demons. Come out, witchcraft. Get out. I now break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil, I envy, jealousy, and macumba from our members, from their family members, from their entire household, from myself, from my descendants, from my family, from my entire household. Come out and go to the pit. Say amen, everybody. Say amen, everybody. Folks, if you're not a member, become one. Do your family a favor. Do yourself a favor. Join us. We put Demas to run.
Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. 